Hi everybody and welcome back to NASA's Eyes on Exoplanets. Now that we've gone over the basics, let's go over some of the more advanced features of this program. So one of the most useful things in Eyes is what's called the Planet Finder. It's the magnifying glass at the top of the screen. And you can use the Planet Finder to sort the planets by different criteria. Like if I want to see all the Super Earths, I can click on Super Earths. And if I want to see all the Kepler discoveries that are Super Earths, I just click on that. And remember, you can always click on these yellow labels to zoom to the solar systems that you're seeing. Okay, now let's say I want to search for a particular planet by name. All I have to do is click on search and then type in the name. Click go and Kepler 62 shows up on the left hand side and if I zoom out you'll see that it also shows up in the main view. Another really cool feature of Eyes on Exoplanets is called View from Earth. Click on the button that looks like a globe at the top of the screen and it'll take you to this very familiar looking blue planet. Click and drag to move the globe around, and then click once on your location to see what the sky looks like from where you're standing right now. Here are all the stars that have exoplanets. Now if you want to see which ones are visible to the naked eye, just click on the stars visible to the naked eye button on the left hand side of the screen. And if you want to see the constellations in order to find your way around the sky, just click on show constellations. Now if you're the kind of person that's into extremes, check out the extremes button, which looks like an exclamation mark. You'll be able to pick through the largest smallest and weirdest planets that astronomers have found. On the bottom of the screen you'll have a selector that allows you to jump from planet to planet and as always on the left hand side of the screen you'll be able to read about the world that you've traveled to. Finally one more really cool feature of this program lies under the little button that looks like a rocket at the top of the screen. You'll be able to pick through five different exoplanet missions and if you click on one of them you'll be able to see what that mission looks like and see its position in space. Okay, that's it for this tutorial. Tune into the next to see more tips and tricks with eyes, and as always, happy exploring.